Hello, dear friends of uh, Romantic Wings. Today we have a special flight with the Heinkel HE177, as I promised in my last video. This time we fly in VR. And uh, I have to apologize for the sound quality. It's not uh, optimal, but I hope you can understand my voice. Okay, we are flying from uh, Kaliningrad, which is the former Königsberg, in 1944, in July, there was an attack uh, at Veliki Luki uh, near Moscow, and it's a f very long way to go there. Uh, but uh, I will not show you all the the distance, but I will uh, just show you some handling features of the Heinkel uh, in VR. So we are here on the airfield of Kaliningrad, the former Königsberg, and we are going to Veliki Luki, which is 300 kilometers east of Moscow. And this was a flight in July 1944. And I will show you now some of the aspects of this aircraft in VR. We don't fly the 366 kilometers up to Velikiluki. We just take off and land somewhere. Okay, so let's release the parking brake. Pull the power forward. So we are in the air. The gear is getting in. Flaps up. Let's check our route. My goodness, you see the red warning lights, which means we don't, we, we are risking to overheat the engine, so just pull back the, the throttle a bit until the light comes off. So, it's a long way to, not to Tipperary, but to Vilikiluki. And I'm doing just a short flight to demonstrate some things in, in VR. So, where's my mouse pointer? There. Okay, landing light is coming off. Navigation lights, now it stays on. Hit or hit. Okay, it's there. The Baltic is ahead of us. 
we can turn this block to have a better view on and now watch the I'm re reducing the the pitch now of the propeller pitch to 1100 that's a good for cruising you see this engine is 1100 the propeller is 1100 clock So both are synchronized. You can watch here. We have up here propeller RPM. No manifold pressure. Down here the four instruments, manifold pressure and propeller RPM is over there. So The flight to Veliki Luki is in the flight plans when I deliver the aircraft. But now I just want to switch on the autopilot. We see the green light. We do course, heading hold and altitude hold. We have 1000 meters above ground. Radio altimeter is already gone because it's 750 only. So let's have a look at the nearest airport. the autopilot is holding it heading and altitude ah, now we have Some Polish airfields. Let's go to this one. This is Gdansk, which means Danzig or yeah, Gdansk in Polish. So we have to take our course around one, no, two to zero. For this, I'm going to use the direction my dear friends Let's try two three zero. The autopilot is following. 
We have 400 kilometers per hour, 380. That's okay. And it's holding its 900 meters above ground. No, uh, barometric. Now we are getting the right direction. So let's try uh, one motor. I will pull back the fuel cutoff of the right engine. You see, manifold pressure is zero. Magnetos off. And I pull back the propeller pitch. feather. So here we are feathering at 10. Ich rufe gleich zurück, ja? So the prop is feathering, still windmilling. So oh, let's start this engine again. And it's running again. But the prop bridge is too high now. So, So we have custom views, this is ALT, alternate key and 1, this is alternate key 2, it's all in the documents, alternate key 3 is the engine, we can of course remove the gunner, ah, there's an airfield. I think we are going to land there, whatever that might be. USVV, okay. Uh, number four is the overhead panel, but in VR you can easily uh, handle all this without. Number five is the right console, uh, the left console. 
number six is the navigator and radio compartment. You can remove the navigator and we have here all the fuses, radio equipment and even a blue which you can open and close. Number seven, it's outside view, but there you can even remove things like weapons easily. Alternate eight. Oh, this is nine already. Eight is this one. You have as well here possibility to open and uh, to remove the weapons from all point of view. Okay, and you can open the entrance door, which normally you do only in on the ground or in emergency. So you can move the navigator and the bombardier, the gunner inside. Let's close the door again. So, and the eight is from the other side. Of course, you have the same possibilities. Okay, and without zero, So, I said we are going to switch off the autopilot, swing around to go to UYUZ. No, what did we say? USVV and we were going to land there There, see the, the airport USVV ahead of me. Flaps one stage down.
drop the gear. We switch off the weapons. So no more Entro 293 rockets. Flaps to full. So radio altimeter 250 Let's reduce power a bit So we are here in the middle of nowhere, switch off both engines and the master battery. So Here we are in the middle of nowhere, USVV. I have to look up the map <laughs> when I'm done and where I am. So, by the way, these are the rudders for rudder trim. This is elevator trim. The autopilot moves it, of course. So, yep, that's it for the moment. Oh, I forgot the landing light. Okay, navigation lights off. P2 heat switch off, but with the med battery is down. Okay, by the way, these levers here. This one is for emergency jettison of the bombs or weapons. This one is for fuel dumping over the wings. This is the rear section fuel dump. And this is evacuation of smoke if there's smoke in the, in the cockpit. Okay, folks. That's it. There's more to it, but... I think that's enough at the moment. Thank you very much for watching.